Hi, Kristen Horler here, founder of Momletta. I am so excited today to bring you a wonderful entrepreneurial mom today for our MomStrong interview. I would like to introduce you to Jane Denise. Jane, can you introduce yourself and tell our viewers a little bit more about yourself? Hi, Kristen. Yes, thank you so much for having me. My name is Jane, um, and I'm actually an um, alum of the Momletta group in Persephone, New Jersey. Um, I had an awesome, awesome experience there when my son was first born, um, and he's now almost two, which is insane to me <laughs> that that time has gone by and that it has really flown. Um, and certainly there have been a lot of ups and downs, um, but it's been really incredible um, to, to watch him grow and to, and to explore being a mom. Um, at this time. So yeah, it's, uh, it's really exciting to be here. I am a yoga teacher and mindset mentor for moms um, when I'm not running around chasing my two-year-old. Um, and so I've been teaching yoga uh, for eight years and I specialize in prenatal and postnatal yoga um, as well as yoga for little ones, which we've been doing a lot on Zoom lately because we need something to keep them occupied. Um, so yeah, so that's been, that's been great. And the mindset mentor part is something that uh, I've been working on a lot um, in the last couple of years, uh, in the transition to motherhood, I had a lot of challenges and I realized that um, a lot of moms do and it's really common and that there aren't a lot of resources and a lot of tools that are easily available to moms. And so I decided to create one, which is my online course. We can talk more about that. Wonderful. Great. Well, it's so great to have you here today. And, you know, it's great to connect with another mom who is as crazy passionate about serving other moms as we are. I mean, I've been in this space for coming up on 19 years now. My That's oldest awesome. is leaving for college in a couple of months. Hopefully she's leaving the <laughs> coronavirus mm -hmm. in schools, but we're counting on it. But, you know, wow. even after almost 19 years in this industry, moms are still such an underserved market. And I love finding other moms like you that are so passionate about helping moms. So I want to talk just a little bit about mindfulness. Like, mm -hmm. what does that mean to you? Yeah, I'm so glad to talk about it. Mindfulness is, is actually really simple. Mindfulness is paying attention on purpose. And moms these days are pulled in so many different directions. They have so much on their plates that, you know, we're conditioned to multitask. And I'm sure you found this and other moms listening have found this, that the more you multitask, you know, that's actually the poorer the quality of your work is or your attention or, you know, you're, you're really less able to be present the more you have going on. And so mindfulness is this opportunity to check in with yourself on a physical level and on an emotional level um, to just tune in and to see how you're doing. And so it's this idea of paying attention on purpose so that you can find out how you are and see how you're doing with your priorities. That's great. And, uh, you know, I, I imagine that we could overcomplicate this. I don't know about you, but I tend to sometimes overcomplicate things. So, you know, what is it that we as busy moms, right, can do so that we don't have to necessarily carve out this chunk of time or, you know, have this budget to be able to practice mindfulness? Like, are there some simple things that we can introduce to? you know, just start to bring some mindfulness into our lives? Thankfully, there are. Thankfully, it's pretty simple. And, you know, there are three things that I use daily to help keep my mindset on track. And I'm certainly not perfect. And I have, you know, off days and off moments, but I just try to keep these three things in mind. And, and the first thing is the idea of, of waking up for my day instead of by my day. And so what that means, and I'm a morning person, so what that looks like for me is setting the alarm a lot earlier than my family to get up and to carve out some space for myself. And so for me, maybe that's 15 minutes one day, maybe it's a half hour. Um, it really kind of depends on what we have going on, but I know that I can use that time for what I need. So whether it's a yoga practice, a meditation practice, just having a cup of tea and reading something like without being interrupted uh, is amazing. So, so being, you know, waking up for your day instead of being awoken by your day is a huge thing. And um, that's really great for morning people. Um, and then the second thing is, it comes from my meditation practice. It's called a floating cue. And so 
for those who may or may not have meditated, the idea of a floating queue is it's like your bookmark for me time. So it's this idea of this happened, so now I'm going to do something for myself. So as moms, it can be really tough because your days necess don't necessarily have a lot of routine or they can look different. So for example, if you have little ones, your floating queue could be when they go down for their nap or maybe when they go to bed at night or um, maybe you know when they're eating or, or occupied doing something else. Um, and so that floating queue for you could be anything that you need to check in with yourself. So maybe it's a two minute meditation. Maybe it's three deep breaths. Like, when do we even do that, you know, as moms? So, um, so the floating queue is huge and thinking about, you know, what that might look like for your schedule and for your day and, and where you could um, carve out that bookmark for me time. Um, and the third thing um, that I like to do um, is, is schedule it, you know? So like you mentioned entrepreneurialism and, and moms who, you know, are, are working and balancing um, family, you know, put it on your calendar, right? So, you know, mark it for yourself, like, okay, five minute break to get up and stretch, or, you know, maybe I'm going to take 20 minutes and take this call as I walk around um, outside and go for a walk. So this idea of actually carving it out in the space for you with the kind of respect that you would do for um, a client or for someone, you know, that you love. So, because we really need to carve out that time for ourselves and it doesn't need to be a whole hour, right? A whole hour appointment. It could just be something that is on your calendar that you respect as much as other people's time. Yeah. And I think as moms, for the most part, it's hard for us to prioritize ourselves. You know, we're always worried about everyone else or caring for everyone else, whether it's our fitness or nutrition mm -hmm. or, you know, being mindful. Mm -hmm. So talking about alarms, I don't know about you, but with coronavirus, my whole schedule, it was, you know, go to bed at nine, get up at five. It's now shifted where I go to bed around 11-ish and get up around seven-ish mm -hmm. <laughs> um, without an alarm because I don't have to be anywhere or meet anyone or, or, you know, there's not anything on my schedule. So I love what you're saying about waking up for my day. And, you know, I've looked at each day and each week as an opportunity to start new. What I did last week or last month, that is what it is. That's in the past. Now I can start fresh. But I want to hear from you as far as your work life, your home life. Mm -hmm. If you can remember back eight weeks ago, 10 weeks ago before coronavirus, what what did your life look like then as far as your time, your schedule, you know, your son, your, your work, mm -hmm. and then fast forward to today, like what has changed? What are you enjoying and embracing and what are you maybe missing in your life? Yeah, no, that's such a great question. Cause I know it's affected everyone in, in many different ways. And for me, this has actually been one of the biggest transitions in my life outside of the effects of coronavirus. So I had, um, I had actually left my full-time job in public relations in early March, um, something I had been planning for years um, so that I could focus. Congratulations. On Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's super exciting. And so this is something I've been planning forever. And so, you know, we had, you know, everything in place as far as, um, you know, what this business would look like and, and the time that I would spend on it. And thankfully, it's it's an online business. And as I mentioned, we focus on mindfulness. And so um, I'm grateful in two ways. One, that it's online. So, so much of what I do hasn't changed. And we've connected with mothers online for as long as this business has been going, which is years now. And, and then the other reason why I'm grateful is because moms need mindfulness now more than ever. So the relevance for what I'm doing, you know, I'm seeing it every day and everyone that I, that I speak with. And so I'm really grateful for that. And, and so it was going to look a little bit more like um, me spending more time with my son and more time on the business. And so that is what it turned into, um, you know, with all the effects of coronavirus. So, um, you know, now our, our daycare is closed and, and my son is with me all day. And my husband is now working from home um, where he was working in an office. So um, that's been, that's been a, a very interesting transition, but it was something that I was already anticipating purely from the scheduling perspective. Like I was going to have more time with my son at home and then, you know, more time to focus on my business. So the time to focus on my business hasn't really been um, increased, but I'm, I'm still like using all the tools I mentioned to, to carve out time and space for it. And um, I actually couldn't be more grateful that things have, you know, just happened the way that they have, because, you know, there's so much that you can't control, but um, I know that, you know, mindset is a, is a huge thing that you can control. And, and so, um, you know, I'm working on that every day, so. 
I think we all are. <laughs> it's such a great reminder. So I want to learn a little bit more about Mindful Mama Foundations. And I, then we have a giveaway to share with our moms yes, today. Yes, I'm, I'm super excited to talk about this. So Mindful Mama Foundations is my online course and community um, specifically for new mamas. So as, as a new mama myself, I know how hard the transition to motherhood can be. Um, and I, I sought a lot of resources um, as I, you know, as I went through that journey, as I continue through that journey, as far as meditation and mindfulness and mental organization and, um, you know, all kinds of, of lifestyle and, and mindset coaches. And so I, after hundreds of dollars and many, many months, realized it shouldn't be that difficult for moms to, you know, define motherhood on their own terms. And that's really what I was trying to do. I was trying to cut through, um, you know, the messages that we're getting, that we're sending ourselves, the ideas that we have in our own minds from our own upbringing about what moms should be like and, and, and you know, really kind of break through and have the power and have the confidence to define motherhood on, on my own terms. And so that's what this course does. It is um, five chapters to unpack the mental load of motherhood and reduce anxiety. And so coupled with that, we have live listening circles. So these are virtual meetups where we talk through the content and we support each other. We practice radical listening where we, you know, create this safe space that is so needed right now for moms. We've always needed it. And now with self-isolation, we need it even more. And so it's, it's a really exciting course. We have the, the next session launching now. So I'm super excited to offer to someone in the Momletta community enrollment in the course. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. And I, I'm, I'm hoping that we're um, going to connect with a lot of people who are interested. That's fantastic. Uh, so what we're going to do for our Momletta online community is when you have a chance to watch this interview with Jane is if you comment below with either a question or something that has worked for you that you've brought into your life maybe in the last eight weeks to help you be more mindful, share in the comments below and then we will come back end of day Saturday. So basically you've got all day Friday and all day Saturday to make a comment and Jane is going to pick one lucky mom who is going to win enrollment to her Mindful Mama Foundation's online course and community. So thank you for your generosity, Jane. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm really pumped. I'm excited to share this with you guys. It's great. And then what I will do also is post up the link to your website and your social media channel so that all of the moms in our community and on our YouTube channel know how to get in touch with you and learn a little bit more about what it is that you offer to help support moms. So as we wrap it up here, do you have any closing thoughts for our listeners as far as mindfulness and how we can bring this into our lives right now? Absolutely. I, I just want to tell moms, be gentle with yourself. You know, we are operating in unprecedentedly challenging times and you're doing an amazing job. You know, every day you get up, you love your kids, and that's the best thing that you can do. You know, you love them. They're, they are going to be totally fine at the end of this because, because of that love and because you are working to, you know, create a space for them that is full of love and kindness. And, and that's huge, you know? So I think that's my main point is just like, moms, I know that we all put pressure on ourselves, but to try to let it up a little bit and, and be gentle with yourself and know that your best is, is awesome and is really the best for your kids. Such a great message, Jane. Thank you again so much for your time, for sharing your passion with our moms. And we hope you guys have a great afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. Take care. Thanks.